Okay, so, you know, this is another revisit. Well, not revisit, it's going back, right? Because we didn't look at it the first time, but people, right? So I, I've been meaning to check it out, and I haven't. So, yeah, I decided to watch Godzilla v. Kong. Yes. So, right, this was... I think I was, um, yeah, I, th I think I, I was helping out of Sci-Fi London when this dropped. And there's a lot of people talking about it, you know what I mean? And so I wondered, right? Yeah, I think it originally dropped, what, March 2021, so last year. Um, and, yes, yeah, so I was interesting because I, I, to be honest, right, the I watched the original Godzilla with Matthew Godric, which was horrible. Um, and I watched uh oh god damn it, my man, um he did Annihilation, right? Home is uh one, which was meh, I mean it was on I was kind of flat, right? I tried to watch Godzilla King of the Monsters and it just irritated me. <laughs> just the, like, it's the whole kids element of it. Never makes any sense, right? So I didn't. But, here's the big but, but, I like Con Island. You know what I mean? So because I like Con Island, I was like, yo, let me let me give this one a go, right? So it is directed by Adam Wingard. So it says the story is by Terry Rossio, Michael Doggerty, and Zach Shields. And the screenplay is from Eric Pearson and Max Borenstein. Okay, so... It is then produced by uh, Thomas Tull, Brian Rogers, Mary Parent, Eric McLeod, John Jasney, Alex Garcia, Alex Garland. Yeah, that, that was the name I was trying to remember earlier. Alex Garland. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> it is co-produced by Matt Alsop, uh, Jennifer Conroy, Richard Mushk, and Tamara Watts-Kent. is executive produced by Kinji Okahira, Dan Lin, Roy Lee, Herbert W. James, Yoshimitsu Banu, and Jay Ashenfelter. A uh, line produced by Chen Onchu. Um, and associate produced by Zach Klein. Okay, so music is from Junkie. Excel, aka Tom Holkenberger. Uh, cinematography was Ben Sirison. It is edited by Josh Schaffer. Casting was Sarah Finn. Production design is Tom Hammock and Owen Patterson. Uh, we've got set decoration Robert, Rebecca Cohen. And Ronald R. Reese. Costume design is Anne Foley. Okay, so then we got art direction, Bill Booth, Mitch Cass, Andres Kubilian, Richard Hobbs, A. Todd Holland, Michelle McGay, Jim Millett, Harry E. Otto, Greg Papalilia. Dawn Swiderski, Stella Vaccaro, and Peter Wyborn. And our cast. 
Well, right, we have got uh, Nathan Lind, who is played by Alexander Skarsgård. All right, we have got um, Bernie Hayes, played by Brian Tyree Henry. Um, we've got do, 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 do. Mark Russell, played by Carl Chandler. His daughter, Madison, is played by Millie Bobby Brown. Um, there's Irene Andrews, played by Rebecca Hall. Right? Uh, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, she's got a daughter, a girl she looks after called Gia, Gia played by Kaylee Hotball. Um, there is then um, Josh, Madison's friend, played by Julian Dennison. Uh, we have got Walter Simmons, played by Demian Bichea. His daughter, Maya, is played by Elsa Gonzalez. Um, Adver uh, Admiral Willicks is played by Hakim K. Kazim. Um, Jay Wayne is played by Ronnie Chang. Do, 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 do. Um, oh. Hmm. Um, Hayworth is played by Daniel Nielsen. Um, do, 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 do. Kind of feel that's probably um this Gil Gilliman played by Lance Reddick. Um, Ben Saroywa, played by Sean Ugori. They're probably our main people, right? Now, the gist of the flick is this, okay? So, legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash on the big screen in a spectacular battle for the ages. As a squadron embarks on a perilous mission into fantastic, uncharted terrain, unearthing clues to the Titans' very origins and mankind's survival, a conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures, both good and bad, from the face of Earth forever. Oh my God. So yeah, that's kind of the gist, right? Now, there's a lot going on in this film. There's a lot going on. And there's a lot that didn't necessarily make any sense to me. Now, I don't know, right, what kind of transp transpires in God, King of the Monsters. God, King of the Monsters? <laughs> Maybe God is a monster. Who knows, right? Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, right? Because there's a lot that happens in this, and you're just like, where the fuck did that come from? Right? Like, Kong, Monster, Skull Island. It ends, he's still on the island, right? In this one, he's in this facility, right? He's in this big facility. And you're just like, when, when did that happen? How did that happen? You know, there's a lot of shit that, uh, yeah, very, uh, very odd, right? Some very odd shit. Then the whole Gia thing, right? This little deaf girl that all, all felt a little random. Like, where did that come from? You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff that made... And then when you look at the technology they've got, right, that they can keep Kong in his facility, which has these 
big kind of IMAX type of screens to make it feel like and look like it's a world, right? That's a major tech. Where did that come from? Who the fuck knows, right? It's all very odd. All very odd, right? That the whole underground tunnel going from uh, fuck, I forget where in the states, New York, maybe San Francisco, but to Hong Kong. <laughs> like, what was that? What was? And also, right? If you're getting on one of those things. Because it, it essentially it feels a bit like the hyperloop that Elon Musk is talking about, right? But here's the rub. A human wouldn't be able to handle that sort of chi force. So technically, those people that sneaked up on that thing should be splatterooski on the other side. You know what I mean? You're just like... Wait, how is this um, happening? Then you've got the ships that go to Hollow Earth, right? And it, the thing that I thought was kind of weird with that, right? Because you get um, Skarsgård's character and Gonzalez's character a, a bag. And she's like, what's this? He's like, for the sick. And you're just like, wait, hold on. Lind is just a scientist. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So how the fuck has, does, like, he hasn't gone through any, you know, high G training or anything like that. So it's just like, how's homie know that he's not going to be sick? You know what I'm saying? Like, they all should be, is it none of them would be used to those sort of G? You know, or maybe those weird, stupid ass suits they're wearing, <laughs> which are just like, wait, what? What are these? What are these weird suits you're wearing? Because you know they don't look like space suits; they just look like some bad eighties attire. So uh, are they meant to, you know, mean stop the forces or something? Who, who knows? Right? There's a lot of random shit up in this film. That I'm just like, have I missed something? Like, was this shit explained in King of the Monsters? Because otherwise, all feels super random. Just like, uh, let's throw this sequence in there. Oh, you know what? This could work. Let's do this. You know, it, it did seem like a lot of that, right? Because you have Tyree Henry's character doing this podcast, right, where he's talking mad, wreck. like, I'm going undercover, yo, I've got this information, and I've got this, and ba ba ba, and it's like, listen, we all know, you say certain things about certain companies, and you're getting warnings on social media, like, you know what I mean, shit's getting pulled, you know what I mean, like, YouTube would take your videos down. So, the fact that this guy has this podcast, right, which you feel, oh, let's throw a podcast in because they're on trend right now. You know what I mean? But we have this, and it's like, oh, no one, supposedly no one is trying to shut that down, Right? They're just letting that go. If he's meant to be there spouting all these top secrets, saying he's undercover in the company and just all of that, and no one's doing a thing? Hmm. Weird. Right? And then you've got the whole thing of, if they are, no one can find him apart from these two kids. Right? Oh, these two kids are the ones that fight, like, what? See, and that's why a lot of times these, I can't connect with these films. Because they do goofy shit, right? Like, oh, a little girl is the only one that can really connect with Kong. Hmm. Okay. Right? And then 
two kids are the only ones that can track down this. And you're just like, wait, what? Like, are we, are we saying that adults are just not smart enough to be able to do this? It, it's, it's some ludicrous shit. Some ludicrous shit. Kids be mad temperamental, right? Adults, hey, dealing with grown up motherfuckers can be a thing, right? Dealing with kids, hormones, no experience, can be super, super temperamental. I mean, look at fucking Greta Thunberg, right? Just like, I'm not talking to that person. I don't like that person, right? Pretty dumb. So, you know, they, they show kids in the, these things like, oh, yeah, they, they'd handle this perfectly, and they do. Be like, no, this little girl in the real world would be, you know what, fucking Claire, that cunt, she was rude to me the other day. Oh, come on, go fuck her up. Right? You'd be, oh, Billy, I sent him a Valentine. He ignored me. Go squash that cunt. You know what I mean? That's, a, that's what you'd be getting with little kids doing this shit, controlling this shit. Hey. Anyway, that's a little tangent, right? Let's get back to the film. Uh, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. Like, it seems to jump from one thing to the next thing. You know, we, we, we have these people from Apex go to the doctor and be like, oh, we want you to do this thing. And then you get the doctor being like, oh, I'll do it, right? And you just think to yourself, right? How many times have we seen this situation, right? Like this doctor, I'm sure he watches TV. He watches films. He reads books. Right, listen to the radio, whatever. So it's not like he would never have heard, you know, the times that people get messed around and lied to and screwed over and just all of this. So the fact he's like, oh, yeah, I won't ask you any questions. I'll just follow blindly into doing this thing. Let's go. Were you just like, what? <laughs> And then just the, the ease in which you'd be like, I won't let you use Kong. Oh, okay, you can use Kong. <laughs> and the way they transport him, you just like, surely there's an easier, there's an easier way. But it's the whole, oh no, Kong, we're with you. We're on your side. We're only putting you in chains because we're trying to protect you. <laughs> In this film, Kong has basically got a mad case of Stockholm, uh, is it Stockholm disease? What's the one where you, like, become friends with your captives? Hmm, I think that's Stockholm, right? I feel it is. It's not Copenhagen. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's got that for sure, because... It's not like they are being super nice to Kong, putting him in chains and just dragging him across the city, just all of that kind of shit. You do wonder as well, how do they get him in the net, right? How do they get him in the net to get, like, what? <laughs> What's going on? There's all right stuff that you kind of roll your eyes at. You know, like Kong going, Oh, an axe. Hmm, yeah. I know what that is. It's an axe. I'm going to use an axe now. <laughs> or, oh, the axe fits in this thing. Let's do, you're just like, it's random, right? How, how would someone just automatically go, oh, that's what that is. Let me do that thing. <laughs> it, 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 we get that thing in this, right, which you, you see across the board in so many films, where you have people running around doing stuff, but their hair never messed up, right? They never 
get sweaty or dirty or, you know, it's just like, huh? Right, you have friends and you're just wondering, why are these two friends, right? Madison and Josh, why are those two friends, like, why are they hanging together, right? It's a, it's a weird combination, you know what I mean? Like, and she's just like, oh, I'm taking your bag. Oh, I'm doing this. He's just like, oh, look, look, look. And you're just like, huh? I mean, the Josh character is some pointless shit, right? It's just, let's throw a fat kid in there as like some comic relief or something. It, it is, you just wonder why? Like, why is this happening? Now, there is a lot of action, people. If you just want a something to just turn off to, right? Watch all these crazy fights and explosions. Yeah, this is you. This is you. I did wonder to myself, though, right? Kong, he's got T-Rex arms. So I don't know if Kong is throwing all these big punches. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's happening. It's all a bit, it's all a bit weird, but it went down. But yeah, it's out there, people, on all your favorite VODs. You can watch it on Prime, on Now TV. So, people, if you can turn off to all the crazy, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy. If you enjoyed all the other Godzilla films, right, I'm sure you will enjoy this one. All right, so Godzilla, V Kong, it's out there. It's weird.